DeepSeek recently rocked the world by claiming its AI models were developed at a fraction of the cost of their American counterparts. They reported that their latest model training cost just $5.6 million. That's quite a difference from the $100 million to $1 billion range typically spent by companies like OpenAI. But should the world be skeptical? And just how did they manage to pull it off? We spotlight all of that, plus my personal take as an expat who lived in China for a decade coming up. Before diving into the dollars and accuracy, let's first explore the buzz surrounding DeepSeek's impressive advancements. DeepSeek optimized GPU use for AI training with reinforcement learning, enabling step-by-step -step problem solving through trial and error rather than mimicking humans. This method enabled GPT-4 level performance while significantly reducing computing costs. Using a mixture of experts approach, it activated model sections for specific queries, which massively improves efficiency. Their development of DeepSeq MLA further reduced memory needs by compressing data storage. These stats are impressive, but does their claim of achieving this under $6 million hold up? And was there a hidden motive behind that figure? We'll explore both next, but first, it's our featured product spotlight sponsored by Mauser Electronics. The OnSemi silicon carbide MOSFETs are Elite 6 650 volt MOSFETs designed for high efficiency performance. With standout features like low on resistance, ultra low gate charge, and compact chip size, these MOSFETs deliver superior switching performance and reliability over their silicon alternatives. Benefits include fast operation frequency, reduced EMI, increased power density, and minimized system size. AEC Q101 qualified and Rojas compliant, the OnSemi SICK MOSFETs are ideal for automotive onboard chargers and DC to DC converters and EV, HEV applications. To learn more, head over to mauser.com today or click the link in the description below. DeepSeek has not disclosed the full cost of both AI models it developed, leaving a significant portion of its infrastructure expenses unknown. However, semiconductor analyst Dylan Patel reports that DeepSeek may have actually spent over a billion dollars, suggesting the company excluded capital expenditures and R&D from its figure. Palmer Lucky, founder of Anduril Industries, is another skeptic. He argues that DeepSeek released the $5.6 million figure to deliberately undermine U.S. companies. NVIDIA alone lost hundreds of billions of dollars upon DeepSeek's announcement. And the U.S. media unquestioningly accepted the numbers, fueling the hysteria. So who and what to believe? Having lived in China for years, I'll share my take on this coming up. China is a fascinating world of complexities. Like many foreigners, I started out teaching English when I first arrived at China's top medical university. At the end of the semester, the final essays I received were blatantly plagiarized. I remember when I called it out, one student spoke up and said unassumingly, but everyone in China does it. I'll just leave it at that. But there is another side to the enigmatic Middle Kingdom. You know, the new U.S. administration aims to usher in a modern golden age, echoing Teddy Roosevelt's era, one that defined hard work, belief in oneself, and in the country. China has been living this exact type of golden age for decades now. And that's perhaps what struck me the most during my time there. The Chinese are laser focused on studying and developing revolutionary technology to put their country on top. To me, DeepSeek caught the US with its pants down, and this won't be the last time. So are DeepSeek's claims true? To answer that, I'll just say, show me the evidence. Tell us what you think by leaving your comments in the comments section, and Shatsu Jian!